this is uh, Highway 30 going east in Indiana, USA, just uh, southeast of Chicago. Uh, no snow, as you can see. It's uh, 21 Fahrenheit or minus 6 Celsius. Well, I was a naughty boy yesterday and I only did uh, even less than 400 miles. Somehow I miscalculated how many miles was left to my uh, destination in Pennsylvania, so turns out I had 1,000 miles left. <laughs> so I want to do 600 today so that I don't have to drive the whole day uh, tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, went through Chicago, the traffic was not bad this being Saturday, and now the wind seems to, uh, you know, favor favor my travel, it blows in the in the back, which is always a good thing. The guy thing. called me today, he saw my ad on uh, Kijiji, you know, a Canadian uh, version of Craigslist, uh, free classifieds online, where I I put my uh, flatbed trailer from time to time, and he also saw that, you know, just for the heck of it, I added the truck, saying that, hey, I can sell both the truck and the trailer. And now, I was in uh, Alberta when he called me last sounded like an Indian guy and now he calls me again he says I ain't anywhere near Ontario because he's somewhere in uh, Kitchener and I said yeah I'm heading to Pennsylvania then I'll go home from there so we, you can see the trailer next week and he says oh I'm still interested and I also see you're selling the truck uh, tell me about the truck so I did and he said well we have a small fleet so maybe we can uh, make a deal and I can buy both and I said okay uh, now I of course you know I know Indian Indian buyers they they never give you the full price they always uh, you know negotiate down 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 but I don't know now I started I, I after we hang up I you know I started driving and thinking like what if you really agrees to buy both the truck and the trailer at the price that I uh, I want, let's say. Let's say uh, enough for the trailer to buy it out from my financial company. I think I owe them about 22, 23 grand. So I just need that. And then let's say if he gives me enough for the truck to make a down payment on a new one, would I do it or not? You know, let's say 15 grand for this and let's say 22 for the trailer. So I don't know. Uh, you know, working for Landstar, I don't think I can do both a new truck, let's say 2300 bucks a month, and uh, this step deck. You know, like I thought I would be making money with a step deck, but uh, I only did a few heavy loads where actually I needed the third axle. I really need a low boy trailer, you know. If I had a low boy trailer, like a double drop, three axle, uh, I'm positive I could afford a new truck. I mean, a lot of guys tell me I'm wrong, but I just go by what I see on the load board, and I'm not legally blind, you know. I can see there is work. Uh, just that a lot of people, uh, you know, bought this expensive stuff, you know, like 10 axle trailers, nine axle trailers, but they still work for, let's say, you know, 70, 75,000, 80,000 pounds. But it's hard work, you know, it's not straps, right? You have to use chains pretty much with each load. So not everybody wants to do that, especially in winter. But, you know, I'm crazy enough, I could do it. I just want to make money. So I don't know, but this is a great truck, you know, except that it still has uh, some kinks that sometimes drive me crazy. You know, I didn't mind that clutch too bad that uh, you guys complained about, but I really uh, hate, strongly dislike the sound my uh, hood makes. And I've been searching for the cause of that, you know, like racket, ever since I bought the truck and I tried everything. I, I thought it was the actual hood. Then I thought it was the lining under the hood. Now I'm thinking it's the fender. And that noise just does not go away. It keeps rattling. Uh, for some reason, it only happens when the wind comes from the right, from the passenger side. So I mean, just 
drives me nuts sometimes. And I and then uh, sometimes I see uh, movies by this guy Jerry, the other trucker that has a channel on YouTube, and he's recording on his dash cam inside this 2013 International. And it's, it's amazing to me how quiet his truck is. You know, like you guys see how whenever I use my dash cam. Uh, there's so much noise because my truck is, uh, you know, there's wind coming in from all directions. It's very low, very loud inside the cab, you know, going deaf. So it really, it would really be great, you know, to have a new truck that's quiet. Because this dash cam, it works great in my car, in my Mazda 3. Uh, because it's very quiet inside, you know, I really relax when I drive that car, but here, Especially when it's windy, it's very bad. So I don't know. I think it might be a good thing if this guy offered me uh, to buy both. I don't know. I would probably have uh, to find a way to, you know, pay for both the truck and the new trailer. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell a kidney or something. I don't know. That annoying sound that I mentioned that my hood makes. Now I'm driving uh, southeast, the wind blows on the right side, and listen to this. today so started in Black River, River Falls uh, Wisconsin and then I passed uh, Wisconsin Illinois Indiana and now I'm in uh, Beaver Dam Ohio I wanted to go further but it's already dark it's you know you know I, I lost one hour because uh, in the middle of the day the time switched from central to eastern and uh, the funniest thing that happened to me today was that when I was driving after dark, uh, all of a sudden I noticed that there was some kind of light flashing below my seat. And it was like rhythmic, you know? Not fast like music, but every 60 seconds something was flashing. At first I thought there was, uh, you know, the cars that coming on the opposite direction. This was a divided highway, Highway 30. And maybe I thought the headlights were reflecting you know of something but there's nothing to reflect from um, then I thought maybe you know the sometimes they have like wires between poles and let's say there's no lights and I'm passing under maybe there's some kind of metal piece hanging on that you know a line across uh, the lanes maybe that thing was catching some light from the opposite traffic but that didn't make much sense either and uh, then I thought maybe I was radioactive. Maybe my pants were emitting some, uh, you know, funny light. So I started to get worried. And then I thought, no, wait a second. I cannot be radioactive, you know. I didn't touch any, any, uh, any Diet Coke or Pepsi Coke uh, recently. Uh, so I thought that was my phone. Then I look at my phone. There's no lights. And then finally. <laughs> It dawned on me that uh, I had this uh, headset, and when I'm not when I'm not using it, I just put it around my neck, you know, like this, right? And there's a light here. Like when it's act when it's on, 
there's a blue light <laughs> and it was pointing this way like towards the steering wheel right and but in the dark it's so small it was just flashing blue light flashing into this footwell here you know like <laughs> it's funny that sometimes things you know it's a simple thing but it's hard to find the, the cause for just like what I'm trying to find out what's causing that stupid rattle but I'm gonna do it in the morning again I'm gonna open my hood and I'm gonna do another uh, round of uh, deep research because it's driving me crazy it's either my fender hitting the 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 hood or the hood has a metal part there in the center maybe it's hitting some plastic but I don't know now a couple of uh, interesting encounters I had today was uh, one was with uh, with a viewer of my channel uh, I went to the truck stop to to get some hot water because recently I'm trying to cut on coffee and I have my you know tea bag so I, I and I had uh, I had some uh, cups from another truck stop so I went in you know just wash my face brush my teeth and then when I'm and there was this guy there doing the same thing and then we're leaving and he bought coffee and I stopped in the hallway between two doors you know just to put the bag the tea bag in the in the cup because my truck was like 300 meters away I thought hey by the time I reach the truck I'll have uh, tea already made and then this guy is about to open the outside door to, to get out and then he looks at me kind of funny you know and he comes cl comes closer you know like this and looks at me his weight you are that guy you are from YouTube Sergey right and he says my name you know like correctly the way it's supposed to be pronounced and it turns out he's a, a new trucker and he says he watches my videos and they help him a lot in his job so he says thank you and thanks for putting those videos uh, on on the channel all right so he didn't uh, tell me his name but you know it was uh, it was nice and then another uh, interesting encounter I had today was uh, I stopped at the first uh, that oasis you know like toll plaza like rest area in Illinois when you enter from Wisconsin and I like those because they have Starbucks you know they have all kinds of restaurants there uh, inside uh, usually there's not sometimes it's hard to find parking but today uh, today's Saturday there was hardly any trucks so it was easy I just pulled in parked my truck oh and they have free Wi-Fi but I had, I had something to eat and then I go to the Starbucks and the girl behind the counter has a name has a name tag and it says Cheyenne it was spelled a bit differently but just like the town you know I <laughs> I was just there right a few a few weeks ago and I say hey Cheyenne just like the town in Wyoming and she looks at uh, she looks at me and she smiles and she says yeah that's right because I'm Indian well I did not know what to say to that because she was white you know she didn't look uh, Native American or Indian but uh, when she when my coffee was ready she gave me my coffee and she smiled again and she said uh, here you go honey and it wasn't just false but it was clearly you know she liked that I liked her name and which reminded me you know like Carnegie in his book uh, how to win friends always said uh, uh, you know if you want to make friends use the other person's name so just to remind you guys, you know, that uh, that's one easy trick. Well, not a trick, like I really liked her name, you know, so I said so. Uh, well, not in so many words, but, I, you know, kind of uh, rare that uh, you can uh, see a name where, you know, a person is named by the name of the town that uh, you went through many times, you know. It was kind of interesting, and she liked that, you know. So people like to be appreciated. And the last thing is, last thing I want to say is uh, maybe the thing I hate the most. You know, is that in that movie, uh, Shoot Em Up, <laughs> the, the main character always was saying, the thing I hate the most, and he was saying that like every 15 minutes. So basically during the course of the movie, it turns out he had like 20 things he hated the most but each time he said that he was saying well the, you know the thing I hate the most 
So I thought I would start, uh, you know, a section of my video like that. So each time I would say, I would mention something that I liked, that I didn't like, or I hated the most, and maybe something uh, something funny that happened to me, like this thing with the, with the headset. But the thing I hate the most is when I was driving on this uh, Highway 30, and actually it was awful in Indiana, it was lights, 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 right? And I'm driving the speed limit, and of course, I use my cruise control 99% of the time and there's a whole bunch of cars you know and it takes them forever to pass me for some reason they stay behind just at, you know on my tail but in this lane in the left lane and they're not passing they're not slowing down I don't know what they're doing I am they're falling asleep then finally they pass and of course now there's a whole caravan of cars behind them and they're so afraid of those cars that they cut me off and just jumped into my lane like 10 feet ahead of me and then they slow down because you know they want to be good guys and they want to let those people pass them go faster so now I have my cruise control I have to hit my brakes cancel the cruise control you know and this person is doing 55 miles per hour now so that's the thing I hate the most for today so well thanks for watching from Beaverdam Ohio I'm Sergey Drachev be safe.